one of these players moving on to the semifinals. And we are moving on to Shattered Temple. Let's introduce our players here on the east side of the map as the green Zerg. He hails from Team Evil Geniuses. Give it up for E.G. Idra. And his opponent, who uh, took game number one, Greg tied him up in game number two, recently coming back into the scene and coming back with some major waves. Give it up for our Red Terran in the West. It's OGS, the STC. And Idra, we've seen him against Hellion builds, go for Roachling, that's the way he built Th beat Thor Zane earlier, so we may keep that in consideration for, you know, Greg's arsenal, what is he going to do here, and, and especially if we do see that from the STC, that may be a very easy win, but I think the STC's seen how the tournaments unfold, they've right, right. seen that Zerg players are taking advantage, that's Stefano doing it as well, Of course, uh, and yeah. so I don't think he will do that, but... I don't know, is he going to play greedy? Is he not? Because the two different styles we've seen from him is game one, ultra aggressive. Game two, ultra economy focused. So is he going to go in the middle this time? I, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a good question. And I think there's no doubt we do have the low ground racks, by the way, uh, here from uh, STC. Very common thing we see here on this particular matchup. It's not like ultra, ultra aggressive, but it does allow him to just get a little bit more of an advantage. It mm. kind of makes up for the uh, Rax' time change, as it just mm. means less of a, you know, less of a jaunt there for the first Marine, but then he can lift it back up into the main. It makes it a very uh, safe thing to do. Meanwhile, Idra with the hatch first, and, and I don't know. I, I kind of was with you in, in saying that, you know, certainly Greg's got to be thinking, like, w what is his plan here on a map like this? I don't know, but I'm having a spider sense tingle of what the SDC might be trying to do here, because because I'm thinking of the way that Idra plays. You know, he plays lings only, doesn't really get that early bailing nest, like really early. Um, you know, like double uh, factory reactor would be really good against a player like Idra, especially within this map where the natural area is relatively large as well. And Idra's a guy that cuts corners, doesn't get oh, double spine crawlers, and he does see it indeed. Yeah, so he's going to know just to bring down a couple of uh, drones here. And that kind of build would be pretty good here. We are going to see the factory go down. The barracks is going to get lifted up after the second marine to go build a reactor, I'm sure, but we'll see how this does go down. The bunker's been placed. A couple of drones aren't really doing anything here. <laughs> yeah, it uh, looks like it's just going to move on over, gets in a better position. This SCV is going to get taken down here. Five, ten, two more hits. There it is, five, and the uh, bunker has stopped. Marine does come up. Uh, so we just have a blocking bunker. I think Marine's going to go ahead and uh, hightail it out of there. Meanwhile, Drone coming back, second Marine on the way. And so since there's no follow-up SCV, he should be okay. So we do have the reactor theme thrown down onto this factory now. So we are going to see some Hellions out for sure. Uh, and I really am interested to see if he will go for that double factory. Uh, he's building up the gas to do so. He's at 66 currently. As it hits 100, that's the time he will be throwing it down. Meanwhile, Idrid got the gas a little bit later than normal because of that little pressure. Uh, and no, it isn't. The, the command center has been, been thrown down now to wall this off. So it looks like we are going to be pl playing pretty standard for the STC. And because the gas was that late, I don't think Idra really has the timing to go for this Roach Ling anymore because the gas should have been in a lot earlier. Uh, but we'll have to see how he does decide to play here. And uh, there is the factory getting it switched up. So two Hellions are in the making now and will start to go out, start to harass a little bit, deny creep tumors. One spine crawler is out though for Idra to help defend. And I didn't see if these Lings actually did poke up. Okay, they did poke up, saw the command center at the top as well. Only one Ling fell. Um, over on the other side, they, we're getting almost to 100 gas here for Idra, and that will be starting his speed, and then see where he's going to go from there at that point, just kind of droning up. Did have the one spine crawler uh, built early on, and uh, are going to have the uh, initial uh, initial Hellions on their way out. Oh, so he's got a Marauder in production here, so we may, may be seeing this Marauder Hellion push that is pretty strong, actually. Um, I mean, it's kind of... Uh, been recycled since early days in, in the beaters. Oh. A lot of people used to do it there as well. Two Hellions do get in, no speed. Six Lings in production. Uh, I don't think he'll take too many drone losses here. He does have a Queen on yeah. creep and a couple of Lings as well. But scouting information is important to see how much gas has been mined, what time is the speed, and so on. Yeah, forcing a few extra Lings is good in this position as well. Uh, he does want to drone up there. We got the second Queen coming up. The Creep Tumor does go down. And uh, we do have a few more Hellions queued up here, uh, a couple Marines, and as you mentioned, those Marauders are going to be on their way too. Uh, oh, and he, oh, he gets the uh, other 
Hellion that was already not, uh, well, that was not low. Regardless, didn't kill anything. Uh, this overload at the south side here will be able to eventually scout into the main base, but that's like at least uh, a minute 32 minutes away from getting there. So it's going to be a long time. Stim is now halfway done. Marauders are starting to move out as well. Doesn't want to reveal them just uh, blindly here. And uh, I'm really getting nervous here for Idra because this kind of push is pretty deadly, especially against what Idra, you know, I was going to say what Idra has, but what Idra doesn't have, more importantly. He's going, taking all the gases now. He's going up for Lair. He's playing his regular style two base mm. Aspire. And this, uh, this looks really, really nasty, Apollo. I mean, if you can deal with the Hellions in some fashion, he is have eight lings on the way. Lair is going down, but there are not a lot of units out. He's going to see a lot of Hellions. I think when he sees those Marauders, he's going to be mm. saying to himself, oh my goodness, what uh, is spine up? And there's the double going spine down. crawlers going down. Going to immediately go after the one spine crawler, and Idra's got to realize this is not a good situation. More lings are on the way, but uh, with the help of the Marines and, uh, uh, and of course, the Marauders, in the back is going to have to pull everything out and will this early attack thwart Indra here as he is trying to defend this natural the Queen's doing a great job here and Indra holding oh, on Oh he transfuses well. as well Nice Wow And he has enough links now I'm sure he has enough links to walk over this He has to be careful though Spine Crawl is about to finish It looks like he's just about to hold on to this links are coming in The Spine Crawl is going to help out a lot though He did at the same time flank with about four lings or so, and killed quite a few SCVs on the natural, so it's not looking too bad for Idra right now. More lings are in production. Four drones have been killed, four SCVs have been killed. Pretty cool. Uh, Bane, yeah. Uh, Bane Lee Nest. Oh, he's going to march up into the man. These Zerglings too, man. So stop it there at the, t at the top. But there is still oh. a lot of units making their way in. The weaker clean queen is going to go down here. And there are a lot of drones that potentially need uh -oh. to get pulled here. And a lot of Hellions could do some more damage. More Lings on their way out. The Spire is only halfway done as well. He's going to have to engage with these drones. A lot will die. Uh -oh. The Queens are going to come back in. And that sneak into the main may have been a way to get get right back in this game. So many drones have been lost. 31 now after making their way into the main. He has no production right now, and now things are getting pretty tough for Greg. I mean, he's down at 16 uh, drones versus 28. He's going to kill this off, but to what end? I mean, your opponent's mining on two bases. He's got double orbital commands. The thing is that he does have 700 gas mined up. The Spire's about to finish, so he can build seven Mutalists, which could turn this around. He could start to harass, but he does just GG here. Doesn't feel like it's possible. Well, I mean, <sighs> 700 gas with the amount of drones that he had, it would have taken two days to get 600 more minerals. So, yeah. um, you know, that was actually a really, really, really strong attack from STC. Idra handled it nicely off the off the start. It's too bad he didn't have that one or two extra spine crawl.